Imagine, if you will, a universe where light, the very essence of our visual reality, behaves both as a particle and a wave. This is not a figment of someone's overactive imagination or a plot point from a science fiction novel. It is a very real, very confusing, and very intriguing aspect of our universe. We are speaking about a phenomenon that challenges our everyday understanding of the world around us. A concept that seems too complex obscure for us to fully comprehend. We're talking about a realm where the conventional rules of physics cease to apply, blurring the lines between the possible and the impossible. This is not just some abstract philosophical proposition or a vague scientific hypothesis. This is a well-documented, widely verified and deeply perplexing reality. A reality that is both strange and fascinating, bewildering and beautiful. Welcome to the world of wave-particle duality. In one corner of this intellectual boxing ring, we have the particle theorists. These are the scientists who passionately contend that light is not a constant stream, but rather a sequence of minute packets of energy recognized as photons. They base their argument on a number of convincing experiments, most notably the photoelectric effect. This particular experiment provides compelling evidence where light behaves as an indisputable particle, not a wave. When a beam of light shines on a metal surface, a fascinating thing happens. Electrons are ejected from that surface. It's similar to observing the balls being forcefully knocked off a billiard table by a potent Q-strike. This entire phenomenon is known as the photoelectric effect. The particle theorists argue that this effect unequivocally demonstrates the particle nature of light. They assert that this effect, with electrons being thrust off much like balls from a table, can only be comprehended if we consider light as being composed of particles. This effect, they claim, can only be explained if light is considered to be made of particles. In the opposite corner, we have the wave theorists. These are scientists who profoundly adhere to the concept that light behaves similarly to the undulating generated when a pebble breaks the tranquility of a serene pond surface. They are steadfast in maintaining that light's nature, in its essence, mirrors the ever-expanding circles of energy when an object disturbs a body of still water. These theorists turn our attention towards intriguing phenomena such as interference and diffraction. Interference refers to the process where two or light waves meet to create a resultant wave. They either constructively combine to produce a wave of greater amplitude or destructively interfere, causing a decrease in amplitude. Conversely, diffraction involves a change in the direction of waves as they pass around an obstacle or through an aperture. This bending of light waves around corners is another core tenet of this. The theorists argue passionately that these phenomena, specifically interference and diffraction, provide indisputable evidence that light truly propagates in waves. These phenomena, they assert, can only be explained if light is regarded as a wave. The double-slit experiment a cornerstone of quantum mechanics adds another layer of complexity to this debate. This fascinating experiment, originally conceived in the 19th century by English scientist Thomas Young, is one that continues to baffle and intrigue physicists even today. The experiment's setup is simple enough. Light is shone through two slits, or thin openings, onto a screen, but its result that's truly astonishing. When the light passes through these two slits, something extraordinary happens. An interference pattern appears on the screen, much like waves interfering with each other. This is exactly what we would expect if light were a wave, spreading out and overlapping to create this pattern. This phenomenon is a hallmark of wave behavior, a testament to the wave-like nature of light. But as we delve deeper, we find a twist. If we closely observe which slit the light goes through, something bewildering occurs. The interference pattern, the bands of light and dark, mysteriously disappears. In its place, we see light behaving as if it were composed of particles. 
This change in behavior is inexplicable, challenging our understanding of the nature of light. So, when we observe which slit the light goes through, the interference pattern disappears and light behaves like particles. This startling realization brings us to a mind-boggling conclusion. Light behaves as a wave when it's not being observed and as a particle when it is. This mystery has puzzled and fascinated scientists for centuries. The very nature of light, which illuminates our world, is so strangely dual, it can make one's head spin. This perplexing phenomenon is not simply an obscure curiosity, but it fundamentally challenges our understanding of physical reality. Such a complex dual nature of light is a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, the groundbreaking theory that describes the smallest particles in the universe. The theory indicates that particles can exist in multiple places at once and can seemingly teleport across space. A bizarre and counterintuitive concept indeed, yet some scientists go even further to propose a more radical idea. They argue that the act of observing light might not just reveal its nature, but actually changes it. This implies that our interaction with the universe, the mere act of observing, may have a profound impact on the very fabric of reality. Lastly, this notion is not just a philosophical musing, it has far-reaching implications for science and technology, potentially even our understanding of the universe. Which brings us back to the startling proposition. Some scientists even argue that the act of observing changes the nature of light. So, where does this leave us? At the heart of an incredibly compelling concept, one that challenges both our understanding and our perceptions. In the world of physics, more specifically quantum physics, we encounter a phenomenon that seems almost surreal, yet is deeply rooted in our reality. This is the concept of light, that pervasive omnipresent entity that we often take for granted. Under the intense scrutiny of quantum physics, light reveals itself to be not just a singular entity, but two. It holds within itself the characteristics of both a particle and a wave. This may seem a paradox to those uninitiated, for how can one entity be two things at the same time? But that's the beauty of it. In the realm of the quantum, there exist possibilities that seem fantastical, yet are all too real. The idea that light can be both a particle and a wave is not just a mere hypothesis. It's a well-documented fact, backed by countless experiments and research that span over a century. It's not simply one or the other, it's both. In fact, this dual nature of light, this duality, is perhaps one of the most intriguing and enticing aspects of quantum physics. It is this very characteristic that makes quantum physics both a fascinating and mystifying field to delve into. It captivates the imagination, it challenges long-standing beliefs, and it expands our understanding of the very fabric of the universe. This duality is what makes quantum physics both fascinating and mystifying. In this video, we've delved into the world of wave-particle duality, exploring differing views of scientists. We've scrutinized phenomena that back both theories, including the notable double-slit experiment. This experiment serves as a new layer to the debate, further entangling the nature of light in a web of mystery. It's a testament to the ongoing discussion and the enigmatic realm of quantum physics. The question isn't whether light is a particle or a wave, but its ability to be both. This duality offers a glimpse into the complexity of our universe, challenging our comprehension and arousing our curiosity. Moreover, wave-particle duality is not only about light, it is about the essence of reality. So continue questioning, continue exploring, and immerse yourself in the fascinating world of quantum physics.